everyone joining. That was really quick. Hi, Destiny and Cheyenne. How are you both doing today? And Jeff. Hi, everyone. I'm just going to share this in a few places. Um, but today for drop-in, I'm going to um, go over a few things really for um, self-care and mental health. We're going to go over um, meditation and then we're going to do some affirmations that I have and they're pretty cool so let me know how you feel about them. I'm just going to share this in a few places and then we can get started. Um, while I'm getting that set up, I let me think of how I can do this. Okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna play something, and I want you to tell it's gonna be background noise. So I want you to know to tell me if you think it's too loud or you want me to turn it up. Okay. <laughs> So, it should be some, like, very light, like, bells and water sounds. Let me know if this is too loud, too soft. Turn it up a little bit. Can anyone hear that background music, or should I turn it up? Oh, thank you to whoever is sharing um to all the pages i assume hannah thank you you're saving me a ton because i can't um do two things at once it sounds good okay awesome so i want to talk about meditation a little bit and what the benefits are of meditation yeah sav it's really nice and relaxing um there's actually a really cool video that goes along with it and i'll show you in a little bit. Um, so meditation overall, they find it makes people who meditate happier, especially people who do it consistently. It is known to enhance the flow of constructive thought and um, positive emotions through your brain. So this is actually backed by science. With a study that they did, they studied a bunch of monks and they saw that their um, prefrontal cortex in their brain, the part that is associated with happiness, actually had, uh, it was extra active compared to other people. So, it, overall, it makes you happier. That's one benefit. Another thing is it helps manage anxiety, stress, and depression. So scientists have found when you meditate consistently, the part of your brain that regulates stress and anxiety shrinks, and meditation can also train your mind to remain calm even in stressful situations. So it's kind of like conditioning your brain. So the one that I'm going to show you today is a five minute meditation, and you'll see it's very easy. Um, after maybe doing it a few times guided, you could probably do it on your own. And it's a meditation you can do anywhere. You don't have to be like sitting like Indian style in Om to do meditation. Um, you don't even technically have to close your eyes, although I find it's helpful. Um, you just have to relax and think of some things. Um, so if that's something you get into a habit of, it really can help you. Um, meditation is also proven to help you fall asleep. So if you're someone that has a hard time falling asleep at night, that is something worth trying. It can sharpen your memory and concentration. And some people, they think, you know, I, I'm not good at meditation. Every time I try to clear my mind, just a thousand thoughts come into my head and I'm one of those people but actually that's that's okay that's actually a really good start it just means 
you have to practice meditation a little more and stick with it. But meditation isn't about wiping your mind clean. Um, it's about being aware of everything that's going on in your head. Um, so your mind might be a pretty busy place and that's okay. So anyone can do it anytime, anywhere. So I, instead of having you look at my face while we do this, I am going to put up the video that's making this sound. It's actually really pretty. And you'll hear me talking and I'm sorry I don't have the quietest voice to meditate to, but so I'm going to show you a, how to do a quick five minute meditation. You can do this anywhere. You can do it at a desk. You can do it sitting on the couch. You can do it in bed whenever you have five minutes. So let's flip this around. Maybe. Okay. Okay, so if it's easier for you, you can close your eyes. If not, you can focus on the waterfalls. To start, thank yourself for gifting your body and mind these next few minutes. It's important to remember that you are a priority. Allow yourself even just a few short minutes of intentional reflection, it can have a positive impact on the rest of your day. We're going to use the next few minutes to come back to center and set an intention for the rest of our day. Put yourself in a comfortable position. You can be sitting in a desk or a chair at a table or lying on a couch at home, or you can even do this outside, any place you're comfortable. Gently close your eyes and shift all of your attention onto your breathing. Take slower, deeper breaths, slower and deeper than the breaths you take throughout the day. Take a deep breath in through your nose, then slowly let it all out through your mouth. Continue breathing that way, feeling your lungs expand out as you inhale, and then contracting back in as you exhale. Tune into your body and notice how it feels. Notice if there's anything that your body is trying to tell you. Notice any place of tension or tightness in your body. Give any area where you feel tightness or tension and give those areas permission to relax. Visualize yourself sending love into those areas. Be sure to thank your body for taking such good care of you. Let your body know that it's okay to rest and it's okay to relax for the next few minutes. You may notice that your mind starts to wander off and that's okay, that's completely natural. When it starts to wander, just notice it and bring your attention back to your body and use your breath as your anchor. Focusing on breathing in and then exhaling out. Try to think of one thing today that has happened that has made you smile or has made you feel thankful or appreciative. Once you've thought of that thing, let it fill you up for a moment. 
let the feelings that you felt, whether it was happy or thankful or appreciative, let that feeling consume you. Breathe that feeling in from the top of your head and imagine it running through your body down to the tips of your toes. Allow yourself to smile if that feels natural. Now focus on something that you can do today. It can be something you can do for yourself or maybe something for someone else that will allow you to continue to feel the same way. It could be something like the joy of getting dinner with a close friend. Or it could be going to the park with your dog. Or it could even be treating yourself to a face mask. What is one little thing that you can plan for your day to bring that intentional joy to it? I want you to focus on that for a few minutes. And while you're thinking about it, remember to keep conscious of your breathing. Make sure you're taking long, deep breaths. Now I'm going to have you take a few more deep breaths. A deep breath in, feeling your lungs expand out as you inhale. Everything will contract back in as you exhale. Again, take an even deeper breath than the one before. And this time, hold that breath in for a beat. And then you're going to exhale out. So for last time, you're going to take your deepest breath in yet. Send that breath throughout your entire body. Imagine it flowing in through your mouth and nose spreading out through your arms, through your fingers, through your body, down to your toes. And then exhale it out. And in your own time, slowly bring your awareness back to where you are. Thank yourself for taking these few minutes to be intentional and kind to yourself. You can give yourself a pat on the back or even squeeze yourself for a little hug. Sometimes it feels good to just give yourself that little bit of self-love. And when you're ready, you can gently open your eyes and enjoy the rest of your day. So, oh. There we go. So that was just a real quick meditation. Um, It took maybe five minutes. Pretty easy, right? Something that, you know, you definitely could do yourself. I am not anyone that, like, did anything special to be able to do that I just found that particular one on YouTube and I'm actually going to share it with you 
Um, they have a whole channel for it. Hold on, let me find it. Um, so yeah, that is something that you can do anywhere. You don't have to be any specific person. So in the comments, I'm actually going to share. It's from Goodful is the YouTube channel. And they have a few other ones you can do too. Okay. So our next part I kind of got from um Hope, who is from Far she works with Farnham and she does some programming over at Clubhouse. So um I got this next part from Hope. So I have affirmation cards. So we're gonna pick some from each category and I will let all of you pick first. So we have just regular affirmations. And we're gonna do one from all of these. I'll just let you pick what order you want to do it in. We have affirmations for our creative side. And then we also have affirmations for love and relationships. This is not always like romantic relationships, just the relationships you have with other people in your life. So go ahead and tell me if you would like to do the original first, if you would like to do creativity first, or if you would like to do love and relationships. Hope! I'm glad you joined because I was just talking about you. Did you hear? Did you hear something in your ear? <laughs> um, we're going to do affirmation cards now. We just did a quick little um, a meditation. So let me know if you would like our first card to be about um, your creative side, love and relationships, or if you just want it to be an in general um, type card and we'll read that for the day. Anyone can pick a card. Okay. Well, no one has picked one yet. So the first um, affirmation we'll go over is um, dealing with your creative side. So, oh. You know what? We're going to do love and relationships first. That's what we have. Hi, Corinna. So we're going to do an affirmation about love and relationships. And if you all think about the card, put some energy into it, it will pick, supposedly, will pick the card that, um, it feels that this group of people needs. Okay. So the card I pet we picked for today, if you can see it, is open heartedness. So it says, I know that life and the people living in it can be an absolute bummer sometimes. But I promise not to let unhappy chapters make me jaded. If I let negative experiences turn me sour, then the jerks win. So I'll move on with an open and hopeful heart, if only because I hate losing to jerks. So, hi Sarah, how are you? Um, so that's pretty cool. I guess what I take from that, and you can... If it makes you feel any way, you can definitely leave a comment too. Um, what I take from that is just not letting anything negative 
stop you from being positive, from having an open heart, even if someone, you know, tells you that a situation is bad or is quick to point out what could be bad about a situation, then you might see it that way. Whereas if you just go into it with a positive attitude and continue to keep that positive attitude, um, then you you very well could have a more positive experience. Um, so I think that goes along really well with meditation. Um, let me know what you all think about that, that one. Um, so now, would you like to do a... Would you like me to pick a card about your creative side or just um, a regular original affirmation? Okay, so Hannah's interpretation is um, not letting the past hold you back from the present. And I think, yeah, I definitely could get that from that card too. Not letting past experiences stop you from new experiences. Just because something was one way one time does not mean that's how it will always be. I think I've shuffled either card, either card set. So if you want to creative one, let me know. Or if you just want to do one of the regular ones, too, we can do that. We're gonna do both of them, but. Also, while I'm waiting to see um, if anyone has, you know, any feelings one way or another about which card deck we do next. Um, so I'm focusing on meditation and affirmations today, things that can help you, you know, relax, maybe reduce some anxiety, depression. Um, just general self-care for yourself. After this, at 445 on this page, um, Ella, Ezra today, Ezra will be doing um, drawing, and he'll be showing you how to draw certain things, I believe. Maybe animals, like, Ezra's a really good drawer if you haven't seen him draw before. Um, so I think that will be really cool, and drawing I think definitely is like an artistic outlet um, and that too can also be really relaxing so today we can have a little bit of like a self-care theme let us know you know what you think about it if you would like to see more of this or if there's something else in particular you want to see I don't see that anyone has picked a card yet so we'll do the Creativity ones. Okay. So our card is abundance. So you can see there's a little well. I'm not sure how blurry it is for you, but so abundance. I celebrate the abundance of this wild, rambling, decadent universe we live in. I see abundance everywhere and recognize that it's an amazing law of nature. And so there's no need to worry my ideal well will ever run dry. I can let ideals flow like a, a gigantic waterfall, then dream up new ones as I sleep under trillions of twinkling diamonds. Can you believe all this decadence is free? So, I'll have to sit a minute, see if anyone has any thoughts about this card. Um, 
I don't think that this is necessarily specific to this card, but I think it definitely reminds me that there is so much going on around us, in other words, an abundance. Um, and sometimes it's good stuff and sometimes it's bad stuff. But if you, if you focus on the positive, I think there really never is, there's such an abundance of good things happening around us that, you know, you could think about good things all day. You could never run out of good things to think about, you know? So that's kind of what I get from the card. But it touches on a few things, so other people may have different interpretations, and that's okay. It's whatever you get out of these cards. Hopefully you do get something good out of them. And then our last batch of cards here. Hi, Thomas. So our last affirmation card, and then I do have one self-empowerment card we're going to pick from. So focus all your energy into the cards. Ooh. So the card that I got for us is everyone is a teacher. And you can see it looks like a rhino and a mouse, maybe, together. So Hannah says her interpretation for the last one is really literally the thought of the beauty of the physical world around us, especially since so many of us are spending more time in nature due to COVID. And I think that's true. Um me personally I am such like a water seeker I love to be around water it really brings me comfort and peace and happiness to be around water and just in upstate New York around alone we have such an abundance of beautiful places where you can go be by the water so many waterfalls so many lakes and that's just like water related. There's, you know, all these plants, all this nature, there's animals, so much to see. So that's awesome, Hannah. Thank you for sharing that. So this card, everyone is a teacher. Everyone I cross paths with is a teacher in that moment. The ones who give me the fun lessons are the ones I call friends. The ones who give me the hard lessons I sometimes call <laughs> a-holes. They've chosen a tough job, but someone's got to do it. So today I'm thanking all the a-holes. Thank you, a-holes, for playing your part in making me a better person. So to me in that interpretation, I definitely think... Um, you know, when you hear about those quotes about everyone has a purpose in your life, um, and those purposes vary, I think there's something that you definitely can learn from everyone, whether it is how you want to be, or how you don't want to be in life, or anything else in between. I definitely think you can do some self-reflecting there. You know, if someone makes you feel some type of way, whether it is happy or really, really mad and they piss you off, I think that if you reflect on those feelings, there's always some lesson there. Sometimes it's harder than others. But. So yeah, let me know. How you feel about that so we're gonna do one last card so those were our affirmations the last card is 
meant to empower you and it's going to give you something to walk away here thinking about so you don't have to answer on here um, if you want to share you definitely can but you don't have to um, you can always come back to it and answer too if it made you think of something good so there's three different categories so there's self-esteem and self-confidence there's self-knowledge and self-awareness or there's goals and life purpose let me know i'm just gonna pick one card out of these um let me know if you would like me to go over self-esteem and self-confidence self-knowledge and self-awareness or goals and life purposes if you can't remember the full title, you can just tell me, oh, I want to go over, you know, self-awareness or self-esteem or goals on life purposes, you know. So again, the category that we're going to think of, and this is going to be, um, I think they're mainly posed as questions, so I'm not really going to tell you so much my opinions. I Now that we've had time to do some reflection, this is just going to be a question that you can walk away from here um, thinking about. So... Self-awareness is what we have. Okay. So I'm going to shuffle these up a little bit. If you want to focus your energy into the card I'm going to pick. It'll be just like you picked it yourself. Okay. So... So, the thing I want you to take some time and think about this afternoon, and if you want to come back and share your answer with us, you can. Um, if it's something you want to jot down, you can, but I think it's something that would be cool to brainstorm about, and actually I'm going to challenge you to this one to think of three things. So the card is, what am I good at? So it could be a skill or a talent. It could be a trait. It could be, you know, anything you have to contribute to other people, to the world. So take some time out of the rest of your afternoon and brainstorm at least three different things that you are good at. Hannah says this is perfect because August is wellness month, so this is a good self-care practice for personal wellness. Yeah, I think so, Hannah. I feel like I'm into this. Um, I think it's really good to use time to reflect because there's a lot of crazy things happening in the world right now in general and we don't have to think about those things right now um but you know we can take this time to reflect on the positive and it will boost up your mental health so much more um so yeah i'm gonna leave you with that question um Join in in another 5-10 minutes. Azra will be showing us how to draw. So that will be pretty cool too. Um, and think about what are three things that you are good at. So let me know if you enjoyed this. And 
we will see you later. Thank you for joining, and hopefully this was beneficial to you and your, your self-care and mental health today. Bye!